All right, welcome back everyone to the Vulcan Deck Masters. We're onwards to the grand finals of the entire event, uh, where it's going to be between Trump and Cypher. So, do you know anything about Cypher, Crib? Uh, no, not much. Uh, Cypher is one of the few players that I've actually never cast. Um, I've seen him around a bit. Uh, I've seen like uh, clips of some of his games. I think mostly from this tournament, in fact. Um, but uh, no, not much. I've never really uh, got a chance to uh, see what's going on. Uh, but I mean, he made it here, and this has been uh, a tournament with a lot of games. So you have to expect that uh, players who made it through have more than just luck on their side. Uh, the final will be Trump versus Cypher. It is going to be a best of nine. So both players have brought uh, five classes in this uh, in this conquest match. And, um, you know, with five classes, you can still kind of pick five top tier classes. It's something that we've kind of seen in the Archon tournament All right. um, where uh, two teams have to pick six classes. Uh, it's always like one that's like kind of sketchy. Um, so all players can still bring really top tier decks, but I feel like if one of them tries to be a bit too creative, it can really, really backfire in this format. Yeah, and uh, we, we see Trump here, like his lineup is, uh, well, first of all, what are the classes that they both play? Well, it's very simple. Warrior, Warlock, Hunter, Mage, uh, Hunter, Rogue. They both mm -hmm. play those exact classes, um, but... Cypher brought a mage where Trump brought a paladin. So it's not really like a massive discrepancy. It's still bringing, you know, four of the expected classes uh, to their lineups. And one of them is a bit different. Very often in Trump's position, instead of the paladin, you will expect mage. So I think Trump's the one here who's kind of switching the top tier classes around a little mm -hmm. bit because he's very comfortable with the paladin. Uh, we've seen him play it. You know, despite the ATLC, you know, the week where everything went wrong with the mid range paladin, I think overall it's still a deck that he plays amazingly well. Yeah, he has done pretty well on ladder with mid-range Paladin, which is why I think he constantly tries it in uh, Conquest mode tournaments. But I think he hasn't had much tournament success with the deck. Um, the tournament uh, scene is a little bit different than the ladder one, uh, and it might be because of that. But, uh, you know, maybe not. We'll have to see. Yeah. Uh, they are playing for a lot of money, though. I mean, uh, we talked about the difference between... Uh, third and fourth place, which we just saw, um, life coach versus surrendered. They were basically playing for five versus three thousand bucks. So the difference is two thousand bucks. It's basically a game for two thousand bucks. Well, the grand final here, first place gets sixteen thousand dollars and one hundred world championship points, while second place only gets eight thousand dollars and fifty world championship points. So uh, basically, this uh, this crazy like best of nine that we're about to see is a a match for uh, 8,000 bucks and an additional 50 world championship points, yeah. which uh, is pretty insane. Yeah, when you look at the amount of points you get even by winning the ladder, um, you're never going to get nearly as much as from a live event or you know right. an, an online event that's qualifying for BlizzCon points. This is a huge amount, basically, and whoever gets this is going to be climbing quite far. Uh, on the ladder of the amount, the people who actually get invited to the the, the tournament. Now, sixteen thousand dollars is a substantial prize pool. If you mm -hmm. look at it, it's just. I mean, some of the players who were already eliminated are still getting a share of the total fifty thousand dollars from the group stage. Uh, I think each victory that the players accumulated gave them two hundred dollars, so they had an incentive to really push uh, their performance as much as they could. And now, going for the top four, I mean, sixteen thousand dollars is effectively you know, a third of the entire money that's being put up. If yeah. not more than that, I think it's like half of the entire top four money is going to the first player. So that's a lot. A lot of Klondike yeah, bars. Uh, I just uh, took a look at Trump's recent record. Trump has been like on a pretty insane win streak. Um, it looks like he has won five matches in a row. Um, but his one loss was in the Geico tournament, which is kind of like strange rules. It wasn't like right. uh, Conquest uh, in regular format. And so before that, he won another five. And then the one loss was uh, in Challenge Stone. And before that, I think it's at least one win. So he's cruising on like an insane amount of wins in a row. Uh, in July alone, his uh, tournament record is 10-1. and one. And that, that's just the, the Geico loss. Yeah, and how many how many Paladin wins were those is what I'm kind of curious about. Because I, I don't know how much handlock he plays anymore compared to yeah, what like he used one. to. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm figuring. It's one of those things where the metagame is... 
I wouldn't say figured out, but it's good that on the 22nd we're getting a new uh, new it's amount of content boring. pushed out. Hopefully including new cars. Again, uh, I have no idea. So we'll see exactly when that happens. Maybe Trump will be back with playing Paladin as a top tier deck. Well, Until here we then, go. We see a freeze mage from Cypher. And we see uh, Paladin. Yeah, Cypher has played a lot of Freeze Mage during the Vulcan League so far. It's one of the decks mm. that I've seen him play the most to the point where one week where he brought it, um, one, one week where he didn't bring it, I was actually very surprised because it's kind of like the the dog syndrome, right? Dog also plays only Freeze Mage pretty much all the time. Uh, so There's if you see him bring a Temple Mage, thing. yeah, exactly. They have a huge preference for that deck because it's very slow. It allows you to set up uh, your strategy, take your time, and it doesn't really have... Too many horrible matchups. Mm -hmm. um, well, the Paladin is probably one of its best matchups. Uh, even the very, very aggressive Divine Shield, yeah. Divine Favor type of Paladin, uh, it's even favored against that, and the rest are just a you know, complete wash. Whoa! Is that Whoa, Freeze Mage? It's not anymore. What on earth is happening here? Cypher, you're switching up your gears, and I'm not comfortable with this. I can't cast this game. I'm out, Crip. Um, yeah, well, Trump's probably a little surprised as well, but he's probably pleasantly surprised because he thought he was in a, a dire situation, uh, and instead he's uh, in a fair one. Um, I mean... Wow, is it, that... This, this is probably Tempo Mage, if it's not Freeze Mage, and right. Trump's thinking, like, um, you know, if, if, if I am up against Tempo Mage, I just kind of have to go for it. Put this apple on your head! But um, he's much happier in this situation than uh, against the Freeze Mage. Oh, oh my wow. God. That's a great pickup. Yeah, it is. Like yeah, this, this might get out of control really quickly. Yeah, I mean, I think if Cypher picks up a Frostbolt off the top, this is pretty much what's going to seal the game, potentially. It's one of those small things. Like, if he doesn't find Consecration soon, uh, or Shield and Minibot, this is just about to get out of hand. Yeah. Um... Cypher just needs something to play, really. Like, it doesn't even have to be that good. Yeah, just keep going with the tempo, and that's a whiff, nope, unfortunately, nope. for him. Yeah, he did, in fact, whiff. Um, but it's still fine, because your 0-2 is likely to tank a hit from the next minion, if you, if you trade away the Sorcerer's Apprentice, let's say. Uh, I don't know. On turn 3, you can get mustard, and that's when things can start to go horribly wrong. Yeah, you have um, to trade, right? Into the juggler. Yeah, so you kind of have to trade here. You can't really push for damage. So do you value the Mana Worm or the Sorcerer Apprentice more? I feel like the Sorcerer Apprentice is a little bit more valuable. Plus you can push for a little bit more damage. Is it? I don't know. Mana Worm survives Consecration. Mm -hmm. I think that's one argument that okay. could be uh, could be made for it. Oh, man. Trump is... No, at least he can play an Aldor for Tempo. It's like the yep. one good thing. Tempo, Aldor. He's going to get yeti though. It's going to be uh, Yeti into Lothab into eventually a Doctor Boom. Uh, That's scary. Yeah, right. There's it a BGH, is, though. There's a BGH. He does, he does have a pretty nice curve here. Uh, it's certainly going to be a pretty nice back and forth game for a few turns, uh, with Trump probably doing most of struggling. I don't know. This just over champion with the Sludge Belcher and the BGH for Doctor Boom. It like from our perspective, it's looking like Trump's got answers for what Cipher is going to throw his way. Because Cipher is right. effectively like you. You could almost discount the Kazan Mystic. Like it almost right. doesn't matter. I like the Shredder here over the True Silver actually. Did um, you not the kill the Mana Worm? Right, but like, oh, no, he killed the Zero Two. Yes, right with the True yeah. Silver. Yeah, uh, the Mana Worm really doesn't represent anything, and the True Silver doesn't deal with the Yeti. So I kind of like this play a little bit better. If the um, if like if the thirty three dies to the Yeti, then you basically choose over that. Yeah, and if you play if in you this want. case, if you play Lotha from Cypher's perspective, you're kind of protected against consecration, but it still leaves you open to the true server champion. So not out of the woods yet, but at least his turn six for Cypher that is is still looking you know playable. You've got the Kazan Mystic with unstable portal, and you had no turn six prior to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'd like to see a true silver here. I think uh, kill the mana worm with a creature and true silver Bel down. Belcher. Uh, I mean, Belcher's just gonna die, which means you're committed to consecrate next turn. Oh man. Which I don't like. I don't like as much, but Trump made it pretty quickly. So I mean, he's he's got his game plan here. Um, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna trust Trump here. Trust the Trump. Trust the Trump. Trust the Trump. Okay, so here you're looking for an unstable portal with Alec here. 
are you? Yeah. That's what happened last time, I think. You know what? I think Cypher you can might play been. it, though. Like, I think you're looking for an unstable portal into Dr. Boom, so you can play Dr. Boom, follow up with Dr. Boom. What happens then? Carnage. Oh, man. Sick two drop, mate. Oh, wow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> This is this is why we trust the Trump guys. I don't even know what to say. You have to sacrifice the Yeti and hope to get something else. Like I don't even know what to say. Yeah, you have to sacrifice the Yeti and this hope is to get a, so ridiculous. A reasonable spare part. If you get a flip though, you're in. Oh my god! Oh he my gets the flip. god! He gets the flip. He gets it. Goodbye, flame tongue. What? Okay, no, I thought he flipped the the Belgian. What? No, you couldn't flip the flame thug. What are you doing, Cypher? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Oh, Hearthstone. What's happening? Uh, uh, I think I have to leave, man. I don't understand what's going on. That was not supposed to happen. This is why Cypher needs to play Freeze Mage. I think he just realized he didn't kill mm, flame thug. So, wait. <laughs> Killed his Pagel for no reason. <laughs> and then he killed his Lothab for no reason. If I'm dying. Okay, wait. Surely, surely something good's gonna come out of this. I mean, this was a sacrifice to the gods. Like, something good has well, to I'm come out of this for Cypher. That BGH says otherwise, but I believe. Oh, all I know is I'm never doubting Trump again. I mean, he, he knew all that stuff was going to happen, right? He's like, nobody knows what to do with the reversing switch. Because I'm getting flames on right there. Um, so here you want to BGH Dr. Boom for sure, but how do you, um, how do you marginalize the, the rest here? I guess you can ooze into a 1-1. One -one. Mm. And then maybe do it into the other one. Could you just play your Dr. Boom? It seems a little risky. Yeah. All right, that's a pretty good. Uh... Pretty good indeed. Put this apple on your head. Uh, yeah, it seems like the juggler has an efficient play here, but you just set up a lot of targets I've that could to die to the boom bot. Wow. wow! Trust the Trump, boys. Trust the Trump. You know what, man? TSM solo mid is having a field day. Yeah. Team solo all, mid. All I know is like I'm I'm feeling good wearing the same same shirt as Trump right now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Does it irk you when people say TSM solo mid? Like people say an ATM machine. No, it doesn't. No, I don't. I don't okay. really get those things. All right, so if you're Cypher here, I guess you Frostbolt and ping your face. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, at this point, after the Nat Pickle reversing switch, you might as well. Yeah, it's, it's in line with the previous play, right? Yeah, it's consistent with your game plan, which is no game plan at all. Man. I think he's going to be biting his nails about that one for a yeah, long time to come. What I really wonder is um, like how that will affect him in the games to come. Yeah, the mental state, really. Because very often a mistake like this can cost you your mental state, if not the game itself. Like, beyond that, it, it's like, we spoke of this, um, you know, during the Archon Team League as well. It's happened when a player loses a game and then you see him just lose three more games and he just because of small misplays that he makes. Mm -hmm. uh, and it takes its, its toll on, on you okay. as a player. Well, that's, that's pretty much game, right? Because mm -hmm. Rag can't kill... Yeah, because the Blessing of Kings concept yeah, is enough. Yeah, yeah. E even if Rag snipes the BGH, um, yeah. he, Trump needs 6 damage to have lethal, but he has 6 damage. Oh, well, 1 8 right there. So, Azure Drake in mid range valley, right? I'm not hallucinating this. I kind of didn't wait, uh, and I yeah. kind of didn't notice it, but it's not that common of a card, is it? No, um, I feel like Trump really kind of um, kind of took a bit of a risk playing this paladin, but uh, again, we're gonna we're gonna trust the Trump, and uh, it looks like it worked out really well for him, really, really, yeah. really, really, really well. Like he won a game uh, right off the bat with it. Yeah. Also, possibly some ridiculously large tilt factor towards Cipher. Uh, so Trump is in like 
that that looks like one zero, but it might be a little bit more than that. It might be like one point five to zero right now. Yeah, he's got the upper hand at least mentally. Like, there's no way Cipher is not at least partially affected by this. Like, looking at your own misplays. Because he realized it. Like, we saw him on his face, yeah. and we saw him in the emos. Like, he knew it. He knew what he did. And that's when suddenly you wish you could just escape concede. But, you know, you have to play the game out. So, I guess uh, Trump, with his Paladin locked up, is just going to be playing the top tier decks. You know, Warlock, Warrior, Hunter, Rogue. Mm -hmm. We have to assume... Uh, actually, I don't even know what to assume from Trump anymore, Warlock-wise. I used to say Handlock, but that has changed a little bit. Now he's a little bit more uh, diverse in the Warlock yeah, for, uh for a long time uh, on the tournament level, he was playing the zoo, and uh, then for a long time after that, it was handlock, and we have seen some dragon lock from him, I think, most recently. So yeah. if I'd guess, I'd guess that. Uh, he seems to have, like, large stages. He had, like, a huge phase of uh, each deck. He rotates mm -hmm. them in and out. All right, well, that's uh, that's double Belcher, so this this looks like Control Warrior here. Yeah. And if it's Control Warrior against, uh, it's got a Void Caller, so it could be Zoo, it could be Demon Zoo, it could be like Demon Handlock. Most likely it's like Z uh, Demon Zoo, though. I mean, I think the Zoo Lock against Control tends to win a bit more often than against uh, Patron. Because, like, well, not even a bit, a lot more often. Because Patron, I think, is a really tough matchup for Zoo. Whereas against Control Warrior, you can still get that advantage that you used to, where you're able to pressure him with death rattles that he can't effe like efficiently remove. Okay. Mm. Well, uh, Cypher has like the dream hand against Zoo, but uh, and Trump, Trump has the has... opposite. <laughs> no, Trump has a good hand against like Cypher's like like if you if you're playing against the Warrior and the Warrior has like the best hand against you, you want a hand like the one Trump has. You want yeah. one with. With the eggs that you could like Argus up and power overwhelm, and you want to burst the Doom Guard. I mean, nah. do you coin out your. Because no. if you coin out Acolytes, then it's to get the Cruel Task value afterwards, but then if he's got power overwhelming, you're losing your Acolyte for no yeah, reason, and then he gets a 4 4, so it's horrible. That just seems, seems really bad. Like, I'm okay with Armor Up, I'm okay with Axe. Yeah. Uh, Acolyte seems seems really, really unnecessary. Like, it's not so much just the Acolyte, it's like, just having that coin is really good. Yeah. Well, Trump's gonna start getting those eggs out, and now Cypher has the, uh, the Death Bite, though, to, to handle that. No executes yet to really abuse that AoE after the fact, but... Do you, do you think he's gonna go for the uh, Fiery War Axe Cruel Task play instead yeah. of Death Bite? No, no, certainly not. Uh, the Death Bite seems to be the play. Okay. And Trump is again in a pretty good position here. Uh, if he if he just plays the, the Void Caller, he's only got the Doom Guard behind. And if uh, Death Bite ends up killing it, uh, because of the order in which the cards were played, the Death Rattle off of the weapon will trigger first which means uh, it won't be vulnerable uh, to execute. Okay, so I guess if I, if Cypher decides to play the Acolyte of Pain, he's getting a sh an extra shot at Execute for the next few turns. He's going to get like two shots at Execute to kill that Doomguard. I mean, that, that can't feel too good though, is the problem. I actually think you might just pass here. Yeah, I thought he would pass, but... Okay, well he's going to get punished for this. Yep, Cruel Task is not going to solve the problem. Uh, no, he's actually got Cruel Task and Argus, which is like completely insane. <laughs> yeah. And I think 5 is, is a good number. Um, but maybe you just want to protect your... Um... Your Doom Guard? No, maybe you just want to protect your Abusive Sergeant. So maybe you actually Argus the Abusive Sergeant so they don't get killed by like a uh, Cruel Task or a Wall yeah. I like it. Good stuff from Trump, man. Really good stuff. Uh, the thing that uh, I think might happen, though, is um, it's going to be pretty hard to play around Revenge. No, I, I don't think at this point it's even like a concern of yours, but yeah, I know what you mean. It's like, yeah. you, you, all, you can't really do it, so... Right. Uh, but at the same time, Cypher is just, he's so far behind on tempo, and he doesn't have any effective removal against the big threats that Trump already has on the board. 
And he can't. He doesn't have enough mana to just do anything, really. That's that's just the issue here. Um. <laughs> like, what are you doing? That, that was a crazy. Like Trump's initial hand was pretty much unplayable against most circumstances, but that specific hand from Cipher pretty much yeah, got exactly. powered like, by like everything that Trump did. And it was crazy. Right. It, it was exactly what I was saying. Like if if uh, Trump had a, what people would consider generally a good. Uh, zoo hand, it would actually would have been bad because like the DXs and stuff would have just killed all the creatures. Yeah. Um, because Cipher had a really good anti-zoo hand, but uh, considering uh, Cipher's really good anti-zoo hand, Trump had like the best counter to that. Is he one off lethal? Purposely, like yes, Trump he is can one dig off for right one now. more. He didn't find it. Okay. No, he does not. So he's possibly going to live... I mean, we know for a fact that he wants to get a revenge off. And I think maybe that's the game plan he's going for, is how can I get this revenge to kill the 6-8? And that's only if I get 5 damage off my minions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Brawl would have been really good for Cypher here. Hmm. It's like the one of the... Pro probably the most consistent out to get out of this situation. Uh, I don't know. I think Last execute, turn, of course. Execute's but. probably uh, the best thing. But anyway, uh, you really have to just think on what can happen. Like if you're Trump here, if you just go all up face and get brawled, it's not really all that bad. This is actually kind of bad. And he's going to have to play Imp Gang boss. Okay. So that, I think uh, this is actually getting punished much more severely by many more lines of play from the warrior than going full face. Oh wow! Yeah, he's wow, got it. Wow, that is a pickup. That is a crazy pickup from Cipher. Yeah, that's that's revenge. Uh, shield block, shield slam. Uh, you end the turn with quite a bit of life. Yeah, you're you're safe from immediate death. Oh man, revenge! That's a cool card. Trump is not bat batting a single eyelid. Like. Hmm. Alright, alright. Yeah, that's alright. So, uh, I guess if you get the Dern 8 implosion and the imps live and Malganus follows up, like, that that's enough to be a problem. But, yeah. Just because he has all those all those demons, like, he has so many of them that the Malganus is, is so threatening. But at the same time, uh, Cypher can really start to stabilize here. Um, the thing is, like, you want to gain some life, so you want to play the Shield Maiden, but that's not really the highest tempo play, and you kind of need tempo before you can start to stabilize. So maybe a War Actual Task Armor Up would be a little bit more, uh, like, you, you can clear the board away a little bit and then armor up on the back of it. So you're losing basically three health from the Shield Maiden, but you're getting the Axe and the Cruel Task on the board. What now? Yeah. Well... I kind of like that actually, because the the cruel task it, it prevents like one damage. You can armor up with just two damage, and the axe is pretty nice tempo. Oh man! Uh, okay, he's three off lethal. Like, I like the doctor boom as well. Uh oh. There have been horror stories of these moments. No, you really can't make it work because um, if you get a good implosion, there's not enough space on the board. Cypher is still two turns from a theoretical Alex Straza, even if he had it. This is like... This is hell. Mm -hmm. Put this apple yeah, okay. Trump's gotta go for this. Uh, this can end really badly. If he implosions for like two, and it kills his uh, Imp Gang boss in 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Uh, like, if the Boombots end up dying from the juggles and then stuff dies on the board before he can actually make trades, that's the worst. He's going for the 66%, but then, uh, okay, so no punishment here from what we can tell. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is too. Juggler oh, the juggle has happens to... though. Oh! oh! <laughs> wow! Oh my god, every single time. And Cypher, just, you know, disbelieving, like I am really at this point. Yeah. There's only so much I can do. Well, I mean, he's still not out of it, though. Like, he's still not out of it. No, he's not. But 
it is it is looking pretty bad. Um, he had a huge turn with the revenge, but every other turn in this game, he was kind of pedaling backwards. <laughs> All right, let's give that juggle a bit more value before it goes. Should have started with cool task, right? Uh, but would it have mattered? Like, because the juggle would have died, and then the death rattle triggers, but the juggle is already dead, and then the death rattle phase spawns, and then. And that's it. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Trump's gonna take that's it 2 0 over Cypher at this point. So, two first games go to Trump. Um, yeah, Trump with a pretty commanding lead. Um, that was a pretty brutal game for Cypher, though. Um, I mean, you just. You really can't do too much uh, in that spot. I feel yeah. like uh, Cypher. Uh, had the correct line of play, um, like the Doctor Boom. I think the Doctor Boom or the Cruel Task was like a good play, uh, but I think a very bad play would have been the Shield May in that turn, uh, just yeah. because you, it's kind of like you just almost always lose anyway, just drawn out a loss rather than pushing for a win. So I mean that that just tells me that Cipher is uh, perhaps like back in the zone again at least. Uh, so maybe he's uh, recovered from uh, the horrifying experience in the opening game. And, uh, yeah, maybe he can uh, bring it back here. Maybe he can take a few games and yeah. swing it back even. Um, in terms of decks, uh, of course, Cypher still has all five available. He, he has not yet won a game. Uh, Trump has won with Warlock and Paladin, so he's got Warrior, Hunter, and Rogue. And uh, that's, that's a pretty strong lineup left to go. Uh, often in Conquest mode, it's the last few decks that really screw you up. But um, in this case for Trump, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Yeah, the, all those decks I think are going to be able to take at least one win from one of the decks in Cypher's lineup. Uh, I mean, all of them are top tier decks at the moment, and they've got a pretty good matchup across the board, no matter what they face off against. And I think once you start getting to those 60-40s, it's even uh, more likely that Trump's manages to carry those decks forward. Mm-hmm. Oh man, this is actually Control Warrior versus Midrange Hunter. It's a pretty tough matchup uh, for the Control Warrior. The high main's coming on time. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the Control Warrior does really have a hard time against some of the threats, but uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see if they actually, you know, work. Like, the Sludge Belcher is not really a threat yet. The Animal Companion is not a guaranteed threat. And if Trump comes out slow here, it's going to be bad for him. Yeah, and Cypher keeps, you know, he keeps a revenge in the early game. The bow's out, and he's got the war axe, and Cypher picking up some pretty decent hands here with his warrior. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know how useful the revenge is going to be. Uh, often, the uh, mid-range hunter is going to try to battle for the board until you suddenly die from, like, 15 or so. Yeah, maybe you can actually get value out of it after killing a high main. And then you can kill the tutus. Like after you punch your face into it and are obviously below 15 at that point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Trump goes for it. Uh, I don't know what's the best here. Probably Misha, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's not Leoc. Uh, Misha would have been probably the best Leoc. Actually, I think Huffer would have been better just because it deals 8. Like, 3 mana, 8 damage sounds good. Yeah, but I feel like he's not really playing the face game. Like, he kind of wants to control the board and then just mm -hmm. develop the board enough to where it's very, very threatening. Right. Well, that's... I mean, if Animal Companion is trading 1 for 1 of the War Axe, you're, you're okay with that. Yeah. I guess. Uh, I mean, if, if you were happy with Huffer doing 8, Leoc did 6, I guess. And took up 2 charges, so I guess it's about the same. Yeah. What's another minion maybe get an extra attack in? Oh, man. Yeah, Cypher has nothing here, so... Maybe, the Harrison maybe Jones is pretty sweet, yeah. I don't mind maybe it. actually you uh, you just revenge. I don't think you're yeah, getting much value Yeah, because you're right, you're right. You're, like, it's basically going to be a whirlwind later on. I guess it's good if there's a snake trap from Trump or a haunted creeper later on that you can pop mm -hmm. and then kill everything, or an unleash the hounds, you know, the post unleash disaster. Um, there's a few situations where it's going to be great, but two mana, how often are you going to be able to weave it in on those turns? So you're right, I think revenge makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and he's, he definitely agrees with you, so... Yeah, this is, like, as the control worry, the way you lose this game is the uh, mid-range hunter gets too much tempo. Mm-hmm. 
Well, and Trump is not doing too bad. You know, he had the, uh, like, I want to say a slowish start without mad scientists or jugglers or creepers, but he's picking up the mid game. It's good for Cypher that he's got this Harrison Jones and the ability to pop the, the shredder if he wants to. Alright, this is a pretty big deal here if Trump gets a 4 attack minion. I believe there are like 3 or 4. Alright, oh, a 3-2. It's not oh that yeah, bad. you're right. There's, I was gonna say no, but there's one I cheat. I keep forgetting about that guy. It was yeah. like Succubus, Millhouse, and then oh wait, one I cheat. And then um, the Patient Assassin's kind of for attack, and then the Doomsayer's kind of for attack. Kind of for attack, yeah. <laughs> Doomsayer. Yeah. God. So Trump, Trump kind of had like five outs there. Yeah. So about like eight uh, percent. Not good enough. Although I'm that's. Surprised uh, to see the both up here. I kind yeah. of. Uh, I kind of wanted to see. Uh, Animal Companion, even the Freeze Trap. Like, like yeah, it, it, been it, so sucks, good. it sucks the Freeze Trap, uh, Harrison, but, like, you're playing the tempo game, and if you Freeze Trap a Harrison, even if he plays it for 7 mana, he can draw another card, you don't really care. Yeah, it's not gonna be the biggest deal. No, I thought he was gonna play Animal Companion, see if he could trade, then if he couldn't... I mean, he could treat no matter what, because Misha was gonna tank the hit, Huffer could charge into it, no. and then Leoc would've buffed up the 3-2. Yeah. Like, all the options would have been pretty much okay. Well, Belcher comes down for Cypher. I think Cypher is in, like at the point where he's stabilized a lot. And unless we see a high main come out, it's going to be tough to get him out of this. Mm -hmm. Like, he's really uh, entrenched at the moment. Hmm. I see a quick shot here. Alright, well, uh, Cypher can execute the 4-1 if he wishes. Hmm. I feel like Dr. Boom might be a, a pretty good uh, push from Cypher. Again, he's playing consistent, he is playing the tempo game. Um, execute seems like the overly defensive play, but you can't just like execute and play nothing. And uh, even Acolyte's kind of like nothing. I actually really like Dr. Boom here. Yeah, I think it's the better play. As you said, you know, it's consistent with the tempo play, and even though you're going to be taking potentially a bit more damage very often, it's not going to be as big a deal as a threat you're posing down. It's only weak to, at the moment, like Unleash Freezing Trap, where you kill the boom bots, but then it's not even that bad. Trump picks up the Huffer. Oh. Okay. I think this up. might be good enough to Unleash. I mean, you can't ever hope for more damage. Yeah, not against the Control Warrior. I don't think it's happening. In which case, Leoc would have been better. Um, yeah, it would have been yeah, a bit harder to kill. Yeah, by a tiny margin. Pushes for the same amount of damage. But still, I mean, you're looking at 13 damage. Warrior's down to, you know, 6 life. And then he's got to bring himself back up while dealing with your board. So he's got to have Shield Maiden and Shield Slam. Shield Block, Shield Slam with a combination of... A possible Armor Smith as well would be great for Cypher. Yeah, it's really Armor Smith that he probably needs to start getting back into this. Some kind of armor gain for sure. Ah, that's oh. a good pick up here for the boom bot. If it kills a 4-1, that's actually going to give Cypher a lot of breathing room. Another 4 though, wow. Hmm, silence. I execute could be used here, I guess, but... Yeah, I think it is going to be used. Uh, all Cypher really has to do is stall until he can Alistraza himself next turn. And the Alistraza is usually going to lead to a win, uh, but mostly because he, he has the board already. Yeah, what's also interesting is that if a high main comes out, this Owl that Cypher plays in his control warrior, um, I'd like to, to, to point out, is actually going to be able to handle that high main very nicely because he's going to have Dr. Boom on the board still at that point. So it's only if Trump plays Freezing Trap and then Dr. Boom comes back that it's going to be an issue. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to shield slam here. Shield slam the 1-1. One, one. I think there's some chance of that. Yep, right, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, shield slamming. Okay. Wait, could he actually get lethal? Actually, if he went face with that Dr. Boom, I think he set up lethal with Grom next turn. And I think he still does, yeah. right? He's got 10 plus 11 here, so he's got yeah, a lethal. Still does. still does. From his perspective. Not quite there, but... Mm. 
Yeah, sacrificing a Belcher to the Death Spite. That can't feel too good. No. Um. It's really just being thrown away. So, there's two lines of play, depending on what you think the trap is going to be. I, I think, no matter what, the Death Spite is going to be clearing Snake Trap, so you don't worry about that. It's whether or not you attack first with your face, or you keep the one armor in case it's uh, an explosive trap, and then you trigger the you attack the slime with your weapon, and your Doctor Boom takes a bit more damage, but then you keep the one extra armor. It's like one health difference. Okay. Well... He gets the yellow straws out. Uh, face Trump damage. Gets a lot more face damage. Yeah, that's actually one of the cards, one of the few cards that Trump uh, was really looking for here. Because at this point, he really has to push for damage. Like, Cypher is about to just retaliate with lethal. And at the moment, actually, this hand from. Like, this board from Trump is a bit of an issue. Ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, the Belcher yeah. kind of stops it. Um, for Trump to win, he's probably going to have to get a silence. Or he's gonna have to get a, like a quick shot into Iron Beak, I guess. That would do. That would be even better. Well, if if Cipher plays the uh, the Sludge Belcher, he might not armor up. Maybe. Yeah, if he goes for like the Death Bite instead of. Uh... I don't know. It depends. Yeah. But it is gonna be a pretty close game. Uh, it seems like Cipher will pull up ahead with uh, the Sludge Belcher draw though. Could you sound sub that slime and kill the the three one or dim the mad? Like, what do you do with this? Uh... I think you have to get rid of that slime just so you can push for damage without Astraza because you, I mean, you will not be alive in this game very long. Yeah. So now, what kills you? Owl kills you, and that's about it. Actually, freezing trap would do it as well. Like from your perspective, you think freezing trap could save you with Alex? Hmm. It's freezing. All right, so Trump thinks that the Alex is just gonna return, but it's just it's gonna not. do that. And then uh, Grom's it's gonna... gonna be the opposite. Grom's gonna clean up. Yep. This is gonna be lethal. Cipher is gonna get his first point here, uh, so it is going to be uh, two to one, unless he misses it. I, I don't think he will. It's I mean, I hope he easy. doesn't. Yeah. Misdirection <laughs> into the warrior's face. <laughs> Surprise. Oh yeah, that would have been that would have been truly something. That moment where Misdirection wins a tournament. Yeah. Last seen in 2013. Yeah, that was like... I, I don't think it's ever... Like, it's been played in some people's decks, like back on the Gokutris, mm -hmm. but that's about it. Like, on the Alpha. Yep. Never before, never after. Alright, well, Cypher uh, recovering pretty big uh, from the first slip-up. Uh, he's, he's been playing on point since then, and uh, he's getting a point on the board. Uh, maybe maybe we'll have a close series on our hand. It's uh, it's certainly possible. Yeah, it's looking like it, you know if Cipher equalizes with the next match, uh, the next game that is two to two. Then certainly the best of five uh, doesn't look as far off as a for, as a win for Cipher. Interestingly enough, you know he's one of two players who were in this league for Fate to Karma. There was also Hawkeye, but Hawkeye did really poorly in the group stage mm -hmm. uh, due possibly to his insistence of bringing Shaman every single time, and I think that really ended up being a huge drawback. But if Cypher takes this, I think that's going to be like the first big win for Fate to Karma after their formation as a team. Okay, yeah, well, that's really good. It's, it's certainly uh, certainly one of the bigger tournaments out there. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm, uh, I want to know now if Cypher is going to go back to, to his mage that he played earlier. Mm. Or if he's going to wait a longer, like a longer time for that. Let the hunt begin. We'll see, we'll see. Looks like it's going to be uh, a match in reverse here. Uh, Trump probably playing uh, Grim Patron, and Cypher uh, with the Web Spinner is probably playing mid range as well. Yeah, mid Web Spinner pretty much never seen play anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I remember the days of Undertaker. I still have nightmares. Double uh -huh. Web Spinner starts kind of okay. I mean, with the knife trigger, the high main is actually crucial here because he's got such a good early game. Uh, it's likely he's going to be able to find decent transitions after this. And then the low theb high main. Oh my God, Cipher! <laughs> this should be no. This is insane. 
And he's going to the juggler first, which uh, is often a really risky play. Yeah. I guess the war axe is a risky play, but if you play one web spinner and you don't coin out the second one, then your problem becomes cruel taskmaster. In which case you just lose like two turns to it instead of just the one with the juggler, where you then split the damage with the double web spinner. Anyway, it's like one of those small situations you barely ever see happen because mm. those are almost never happen anymore with web spinners. Well, Cypher's gonna have to get a pretty decent three drop, otherwise uh, Trump might run away with it here. Yeah, double armor smith start for Trump. I mean, hell, count me in. Whoa. Hmm. Well, the mid range hunter does kind of struggle against the other hunters. What's interesting is. Since Trump didn't win with his mid range, there's a chance of a mirror match later on, and at that point, the Kazan Mystic becomes pretty powerful. We've seen the Kazan Mystic a few times now. We've seen it in Cypher's Mage deck as well, remember? Wait, it, Trump doesn't care about the possibility of a Houndmaster at all? Like, not a single bit of respect was given to that guy. Well, I think the idea is, like. I don't know. I he mean, I, I guess. Killed, he could have killed both of them, actually, yeah. I guess ultimately what he's thinking is, if this gets damaged, I can always finish it off with the 2-4 and finish off the Houndmaster with the Axe. Because mm -hmm. if that was the 4 side, then he's probably going to do it very quickly. Oh, I think oh, it's man. tight. I think it's Grim Patron uh, <laughs> in a rage. Yeah, and then you got a Grim Patron Whirlwind on 6, so you're probably going to be golden either way. No, I'm totally serious. Yeah, I know, I agree. I, I'm not laughing either. <laughs> you're it's laughing. Always, I'm laughing, but like, I'm, I'm laughing at <laughs> uh, the thing. It's like I'm laughing yeah. about the laugh, you know? It's, uh... Yeah, and this is like a nightmare situation for mid range. <laughs> well, he's got Dire Wolf Alpha with Unleash, so he could handle a bunch of, you know, two attack patrons, uh, two health patrons, um, but not so many of the smaller sized ones. Wait, actually, if he could only silence one of them. Hmm. Well, like, so if he, he plays... Kind of can. What, like, what if he silences, like, the 3-2 and then kill commands the other? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You can always get rid of both, and then there's no way they're going to multiply. And then if another wave of them hits, you've got the Dire Wolf Unleashed to kind of, uh, you know, remove the, the biggest part of them. Mm -hmm. But you really have to find a way to kill that last 3-3, three, three, because then he's just going to repopulate them on, the on, the, on your hounds. That's always a big issue. Hmm. Alright, yeah, it's like yeah. a, that is the play that's going to be made here. Uh, very defensive, but you have to be because, like, I mean, if you have a chance to get out of a, a really bad Grim Patron situation, then you just take it. So, uh, good stuff from Cypher here. Um, Trump, he can't really make the Whirlwind play, I don't think. It just seems a bit weak now. You could make it with Patron and follow it up with an Unstable Ghoul. I mean, you could play Unstable Garmer Smith, which again just sets up an even better patron on the following turn. I think uh, that's you can deal with high main. Yeah, you yeah. can deal with high main with execute. Hmm. Well, I actually don't think there's any other play. I think it is Armor Smith cool, and maybe maybe even trade into the L with the two one, because that thing's that thing's dead. What now? Oh, you might as well trade into it. Because if there's another Houndmaster, then suddenly it's kind of annoying because you don't get the patron value you want against the Jaime. Right, right. He's going to go for it. Alright, Trump with the patron all-ins. It's a little optimistic, but alright. Does that ever get punished? Like, Yeah, sometimes it does. Like, Horribly. right now, I, I don't know how Trump... Is expecting those patrons to give him the massive amount of value he wants. Like, if he plays high main here, if Cypher does, then an execute would get rid of the body with the 3 1 and just smash it into it. And then two, like, two dual 2-2s two come out. One of them dies to the 3 3. And the 3 3 becomes a 3 1, which then dies to unleash. So I think Cypher is not too bothered by those patrons at the moment. All right. Yeah, the ghoul is going to be a problem, though. Oh, man. That ghoul. Trust the Trump. Trust the Trump. He's just going for it. Face damage, boys. 
So let's think, if you attack with the high main into the 1-3, and then you play Unleash Direwolf, do you remove most of the things that your opponent gets? You remove everything besides one patron, I think. Oh no, you remove everything but two. Ooh, no, that's an I, issue. Think, I think the play... You have to kill that patron over there. Mm-hmm. You might have to kill command that patron. Yeah, like even if you do that, you're still in a bit of trouble though. Yeah, because you still can't can't get the uh, unleashed direwolf. Like one turn later would be so much better for him. It's like a combination of plays that would solve the problem, but at the moment, not a single one of them alone mm -hmm. is doing enough. Oh man, well, he's gonna go for it. I guess uh, desperation makes you do the best you can. Yeah, only she's gonna have some effect here, but not a lot. And yeah, not nearly as much as he wants it to. If he kills the armor smith, I'll be surprised. It pretty much has to go phase. Yeah, he has to go phase here. It's funny enough that Trump's now playing the face game. Oh wow! Oh, well, yeah. that that is pretty much what Trump was looking for. I mean, all, everything get, dies. No yeah, board. He gets no to board clear the board. Yeah, he gets to no completely clear the board. <laughs> gain this a ridiculous obscene. amount of armor. Yeah, and goodbye, Cipher. Uh. Okay. Trump is doing some Excel spreadsheet calculations. Well, I think the issue is that you spawn too many patrons, perhaps. Okay, you mean the older ones don't recycle because they're Yeah, too like I think what you might want to do is actually suicide one of the full life 3-3 three, three patrons into the high main. Okay, I, I can and see then that. Since they all have the remaining one. So you, yeah. you'd even save your execute. Mm -hmm. See, I mean, that's that's the problem right now. Yeah, you have to suicide the full health one. Or you could let the high main be. I don't think you let the high main be. No, I don't think you let the high main be. Actually, Trump lets the high main be. He's like, you know what? <laughs> Enjoy that 6 3 against my board of patrons. The Lion King versus the Drunken Dwarves. Oh man, Cypher. What do you. Yeah, you have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> See, Crip is like, what are you gonna? Oh, okay, that's good. Get yeah, out of here. Sorry, everyone, Cypher. everyone got in there that game, and, yeah, and uh, Cypher, Trump takes Cypher. it with that. Uh, so Trump, uh, two more points required. Cipher needs four. That is a pretty commanding lead. Uh, often, again, in this situation, um, it's not it's not as like dominant uh, because usually you have the the bad decks on the back end. Uh, but Trump still has to win with Rogue and Hunter. Yep. So the Rogue might struggle a little bit, but I don't imagine a Hunter would. I mean, there is a reason why you queue up against so many Hunters when you queue up on ladder. Uh, it's just pretty consistent against the most things out there. So uh, Trump, uh, very, very strong position. Uh, Cypher still has uh, quite a few decks to, to win with still. Yeah, it's Tempo Mage. I mean, I remember Amaz had a bit of trouble with Tempo Mage recently in the Star Ladder. So it's a deck that, although it's, it does see a lot of play in, on Ladder, doesn't seem to be doing as well in tournament systems. Um, so we'll see exactly if All right. that well, deck is, ends up being a problem. Uh, this is the Mage against the Rogue. Uh, both players playing a very uh, tempo-based game. Yeah. Freeze I think Mage with the... has a pretty good deck here, like a pretty good lineup. I think with uh, like ideal hands from both players, the rogue wins with a big blade flurry. With ideal hands, yeah, I think I'd say so. I mean, tempo mage. If it was freeze mage, I'd say otherwise. But tempo, yeah, definitely. It's one of those okay. things. Well, we have um, well, that's a pretty good hand from Trump now. A really good hand from uh, Cipher. He just needs like maybe one decent creature you can play, or maybe like. Uh, uh, Flame Wake or something like that to really make it go. Uh, Trump wants to pick up a backstab more than anything here for the following turns. Well, he can eviscerate that if he wants. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, what's your other target? Flame Waker, probably. So you've got to be a bit careful about wasting those of his rates. But yeah, I don't think he's in trouble. Even with the hand that Cypher has, it's still not remotely problematic. Yet. Uh, it's not looking great. I think if Cypher had like a Frostbolt here, he'd actually like Frostbolt face and just push for a ridiculous amount of tempo. Yeah, because with the Arcanine Elect on the back end, the opponent has to have exactly, you know, Deadly Poison Flurry or Backstab SI to push you out. Yeah. Well, Trump has not picked up uh, either of those cards yet. Uh, here comes oh, the man. Uh, He prep can, team yeah, team. he can prep uh, Eviscerate and SI though. So yeah. kind of like a really weak Backstab. It's an okay play just because Tempo Mage is all about, well, I think it's pretty self-evident Tempo. So if you can deny that, then suddenly you're you're going to be fine for the rest of the game. Because they really don't have a massive comeback mechanic besides Mirror Entity, which they very often need to get from Mad Scientist to get back in the game uh, quickly. More Mirror Images. Yeah, very Probably useful. Probably best to save that one. Yeah. You can protect your other Mirror Images, tinnitus. I mean. What if they had, like, Super Taunt? Like, yeah, you have to attack the super taunt before you attack the taunts. Mm. How much play would that see? Well, you know what? Kazan again. Cypher plays Kazan in like every one of his decks. We've only seen it in two, though, haven't we? We haven't seen it in like. I've seen it in three decks so far from him. Have we? I think. Yeah, We've I'm pretty seen sure. it in the mage twice now, and it was in his hunter deck, right? What that was in the hunter been? deck. I think that was it. We've just seen it in this mage twice. Because it was also there in the opening game. He played. Wasn't he? No, he wasn't playing it in Warrior. That was an Iron Bcal for the tech. Right, right. He's got Wait. he's got his decks teched out, which is uh, yeah. you know the sign of a prepared player. But uh, ugh, tech choices maybe maybe not the best ones against Trump's lineup. So uh, Trump did uh, come out favorably in that. Yeah, and oh my god, that low theft from Trump is going to be. A big problem if Cypher doesn't play Mirror Entity here. But Mirror Entity doesn't even feel that great. You're kind of like, I guess I should play it. To do. What to do. But what if he just plays a heal bot and then trades into it because he can? Like, it does nothing. Uh, Alright. Yeah, that is pretty rough. Is Lotheb the, the card to play? It's just a good card to play. Yeah, I'd say so. It's pretty it's pretty sick. Yeah. I mean the Cypher basically skips his entire turn. He has nothing to play. Sorry. Unless he picks up a minion off the top. <laughs> oh wow. Oh well he does get a really good five wow. drop for this situation, I'd say. It's a really, really good five drop, but the uh <laughs> the draw from it is terrible there. <laughs> Cypher's draw with this deck is not lining up at all. No. Do you just oil yourself and kill that Drake and go face? Or do you play Shredder and trade with the low tub? Yeah. I or 3-3 three, three Dagger? Uh, no. I think I like... Hmm. I don't even know if trading is that necessary. But I think Shredder and developing a weapon is the play to make. You have You have such a good turn next. All right, he's just gonna go and play as many minions as he as he can, knowing how Tempo Mage operates. He needs mm -hmm. to get a really good Flame Waker to swing back in. Uh, that's not bad, but the problem is, if you do that, then he just dies to the five one yeah. Lotha. You really can't do that. Yeah, and your spells can't really be spammed anyway. Like they don't achieve anything, even if you spam them all. I mean, I guess if you had Flame Waker and you had like ten mana, this would be a def like a defendable play, but. Mm -hmm. I think the the play might have to be uh, ping Lotheb and then just flame cannon. No mirror entity. The, I, I mean, mean you see most like minions. Really risky. Yeah. I think he's thinking of like fireball instead of flame cannon, which I don't blame him either. The next turn he could have a higher tempo play, because I mean, I mean, you know, most rogues have healing. You're behind on tempo, so you have to waste some burn anyway. Um, wow, that's wow. a great one. That's the best one. That is actually the best one. Yeah, like the the shredder wasn't even as good because it comes back. Yeah. Well, that's uh, a bit of a setback for Trump.
Oh, wow. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, not so much. Unlike Keltos, he didn't come back like 17 expansions later. It was right away. I think the play might be to, um, to just weapon up. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, no, he's going to go for it. The the problem with the the oil play here is uh, if the if the buff hits the shredder, it's kind of annoying. Okay, you push for some damage here. This actually turned out really well. That that, that was, was actually good. the best target. That, that was, was the, the best, best target. target. That was the best target. Okay. Flame cannon hits well and oil hits well, and now Cypher's got to split this mana between pings. And actually dealing with this board. And Trump's considering keeping the, uh, the the dagger at full charge to get deadly poison. Uh, to make it 6, so he deals a total of 12 instead of 8. But ultimately you can do escalate that over a few turns and you get a bit more damage even. Mm -hmm. Oh man. That board is so threatening and you have nothing. Doomsayer saves the day. It does. It does really, really save the day. Now Trump draws off that Blood Mage, so is that it? Alright, uh, he's got 4 plus the uh, 9, so nope, nope, well, not He's quite. a little short, but I nice guess at this point off. you kind of push for it. You've seen two mirror images, so what could stop you from Cypher? There's like maybe plays a variant that contains taunts in the Temple Mage. Like he's well, you have, you have the sound so for that. Yeah, exactly. So you'd be able to go through a little bit, and you'd have to clear your board as well in the first place. Um, I actually don't know why he's deadly poisoning. I feel like you just attack with what you have, uh, re-weapon, re deadly the new weapon, and then SI. Yeah. I think that that's what I, that's what I thought he was going to do. Well, you push for more damage this turn. I guess. Oh man, that could be wild. Uh, how wild could it be? There's no Deathwing. Alakir. <laughs> that could be Alakir wild. Alakir would be pretty good, yeah. Well, would you still live? Oh wow, right. <laughs> Whoa, the <laughs> nice true horde. Right nice pickup right there, Cipher. No, that doesn't cut it. I guess he's gonna reveal it. What do you mean, Salsi Dakan is not a legendary, and Emperor Thorson is not a dragon? Nope. No, nope, okay. it is not. Oh man, Cypher getting crushed here. Trump is on match point in this best of nine. Trump just has to win with with Hunter. Yeah, with Hunter, he's got a total of four games to go up against before oh, he's God. eliminated. And then if he wins one of them with Hunter, which I'll just let you run the stats on the, the likelihood that none of them end up being a win. Although that would be a story to tell. That would be a story to tell, but... Um, that's I basically guess. an eight thousand dollars game for Trump, potentially. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks like Trump's gonna have this. I mean, it, it's it, if if Cipher comes back, it would it would be truly miraculous at this point. Yeah, and but then again, there's Kazan Mystics running around. You know uh, that that might do something. There, there have been uh, there have been spotted. Cipher going to the rogue here. And uh, Trump playing a face or a hybrid. I saw a high main, so I've got to guess it's more of a hybrid deck than a than a face one. Yeah, he has the face cards. Um, did we see the high main from Trump? I think I saw it in the mulligan, and he just threw it away. Yeah. We'll see. All right, so man, if Cipher is not running double heal bot, this is going to be really painful because this is almost just a. He's just going to get run over. And if that, that juggle hits as well, it's even worse. Well, Cypher's plan is to just uh, hope that Trump doesn't trade so he can get a really nice um, fan of knives off. Yeah, you're going to get a good fan of knives at some the, point. The whole, the whole game might be based on this juggle, by the way. It's like a 50-50 Oh, and Trump gets it. <laughs> but there's a backstab. Well, there's a backstab. Okay. Don't scream victory just yet. There is backstab, but he's still like really behind. Yeah. Yeah, Trump's just gonna push with Wolf Rider, and then I guess if he picks up another backstab, then the game really gets turned around potentially. But mm -hmm. 
There's a lot of damage coming in, and it's one of those matchups where you really don't even have to weave in your hero powers that much, because the rogue has a limited amount of healing, so if you can just put minions on the board, they're using their phase for removal, and that's basically furthering your agenda. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, Vile Teacher might be the play. Kind of have to, yeah, but then by the time you're able to handle the board, Unleash becomes an issue. There it is. Wow, Trump. Easiest Glaive Zuka right here. Pushing yep. for 8 damage. Okay, just gonna push oh, for oh, 6. Just, just the 6, he wants the Mad Scientist. What's that trap? We've seen Freeze Trap in Trump's deck though, haven't we? I'm pretty, I'm like sure we've seen Freeze Trap. I'm pretty sure we saw it in the first game, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's actually gonna be able to stem some of the bleeding. Alright, he, he might have time to pick up a heal bot. Keyword might. Yeah, that's basically what he needs here. Um, Alnish can push for some damage. Yeah, you might keep it for Kill Command though. He's hoping to pick up Arcane Golem or Wolf Rider here. Oh, no, you keep that for Kill Command now. I think it's Alnish time. Yep. You're right, that uh, Iron Decal kind of gave him another... Oh, getting a bit of an issue. Alright, back. So the Iron Decal definitely uh, the Kill Command enabler. Pfeiffer needs a miracle. He needs Healbot and Lotheb, basically. Yeah. Like back to back. I think Trump's really just deciding if he wants to go face all up with the three. I um, with an explosive trap set up, I'd probably just do that. It's a freeze, but I think he'd still go face. Just to put him on uh, even health. Okay. I didn't see when they hovered over it. Wow. Cypher. What is that hand? What have you done to the Hearthstone gods? <laughs> like, his hand is, like, how much is that hand worth? 30 mana total. 30 mana. Mm -hmm. 32 now. Well, Cypher doesn't kill him. Okay, now he kills him. Yeah. I mean, that Trump, Trump. Yeah, that's, that's GG, because he can't clear all the dogs. So it's, uh, it's just kill command for the win. That's it for yep. Trump. Trump is our champion. Trump just won $8,000 wow. on a hound hit. And a really good series of games against Cypher, who... I, I mean, you, I have to wonder... You know sometimes when a misplay is made, you have to ask yourself how much of the, the entire matchup uh, or the lineups would have made a difference? Like, if he'd won with that first game, um, what would have happened with the subsequent matches? Would they have been right, in his favor right. and whatnot? They could have been, but um, while Cypher did lose that first game strictly because of the misplay, um, it, it feels like a lot of the other games, he, he bounced back. He was like... Pretty much in the zone, right. yeah. played great. Uh, it's just uh, the Trump came, uh, uh, the cards came Trump's way, and uh, I mean Trump's a good enough player to take advantage of every situation. He uh, gets a favorable spot. Yep. So congratulations to Trump, the grand winner of the Vulcan Deck Master Series. So hey, he's first place. Second place is Cypher. So again, that's no small feat. He's not going home empty-handed. Trump's getting his sixteen thousand dollars and a hundred BlizzCon yeah. points. Cypher gets fifty a BlizzCon points and uh, eight thousand dollars. Third place is uh, Surrender, who actually three out Life Coach in the mm -hmm. the first match we saw today. Man, that was actually uh, that was actually pretty quick for best yeah, of us. That was much quicker than I thought it'd be, but uh, I mean, Trump played uh, mid-range and aggressive decks, uh, and like every single time when the cards came his way, I mean, you're just you're just winning it, and yeah. uh, I mean that's what that's why the score is what it is. So, yeah. uh, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm happy what to cast this with you. Oh, oh what's that? Kind of fun. Okay. Was that what? What's what? <laughs> oh, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Trump repping. Crip is just kind of piggybacking on Trump's success right now. So, uh, you know, no shameless too. Like, no no, no problem with it. I just um, had to stretch my back a little bit, you know. It's alright, it's alright. I don't have my complexity shirt, so I can't really stretch it. And anyway, I have no complexity members in the grand finals, unfortunately. Sorry. Yeah, it's alright. So, anyway guys, we're about to wrap up this entire event. Uh, again, this was the last day with the grand finals. We would just like to thank the sponsors before we leave. Uh, Vulcan for organizing this entire thing, the first season of Vulcan Deck Masters. Unfortunately, I do not think there will be a second one as uh, they initially planned. Uh, I don't think... I think they've been, there's been a modification to their uh, their plans as far as the Hearthstone League goes. But 
you know, it was, uh, it was still fun while it lasted. And again, Squarespace.com for sponsoring the entire thing. Check them out, Squarespace.com. They're a website where you can build your own. They're pretty cheap and inexpensive and very professional and intuitive to use. Um, any last words, Crip, before we uh, we go off? Uh, it's just uh, it's good to cast you, good to see the games, good to see uh, Trump boys taking a win. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, I think a pretty cool end to... Uh, very epic series. Great yeah. stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And, uh, well, while there may not be another Vulcan Deck Masters again, um, if it's going to be one, it's good that it went uh, as well as it did. Yeah. So all hail Trumpian, the Vulcan champion. Until the next time, guys, have a nice one. We'll see you on another tournament.